Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Last time was a bit of an avalanche. It was an interesting episode, and I didn't quite get everything, but I will go ahead and tell you now that the two puzzle pieces that I was missing, one was, I believe I had gotten in previous attempts, was there's a string of bananas right at the beginning of the episode, beginning of that level. And then the second one was obviously when those big snowballs were floating up and down. So that's it. I apologize for not showing that on screen, but after a million billion attempts, I think you can understand that I was getting a little testy. So here in this level, today's two levels are going to be thankfully easier. And oddly enough, we are going to be accosted by uh, snowflakes? Hopefully you're not a bunch of snowflakes viewers, but if you are, that's okay. Can't believe we are weaponizing winter. We gotta be careful here. Oops. Oh, no. I would like to have that. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Hopefully you're all doing well. I wish it was actually cool like winter now. It's become quite, uh, quite steamy in my area. The average temperature has gone up quite a bit. It's a bit of a heat wave. Not sure I care for it too much. Alright, let's see if I can pay attention here to what I'm doing. Whoop. Hey, this level is kind of weird. It's got some new mechanics in it for you, so get ready for that. Let's see if you can catch up and pay attention. Hopefully the level doesn't freeze you out. Alright. So yeah, we got some deathly snowflakes, which is great. You love to see it. Some spring-loaded grassy platforms. All right, so let's go down here. Okay, let's go ahead and tactically reset. Oops. I needed to bring it around town, but not to that spot. Both of the levels today will only have five pizza pieces, so not as much work to do. And they're not the most difficult. I say that I love to shoot myself in the foot. Oh no, oh no, I think I've done it again. Oh, I've done it again. Whoop. Tactical reset number two. You love to see it? Okay. <laughs> that platform does not bounce. Alright, let's get our head in the game. A little bit of a brain freeze. We can do it. Yeah, it's an odd, an odd mechanic to have snowflakes be... Uh, Okay, I'm just... <laughs> have snowflakes be, be deadly here. Alright, let's go up. There it is. Yes. Okay, much better. So there's a bit of a blast barrel situation tucked inside this area. Oops. <laughs> it helps if you jump correctly. That's for sure. Alright. We will figure this out eventually. One of the things though that I don't know if I mentioned it enough is just kind of how interesting the, the oop, nope, gotta bounce. How interesting the backgrounds are in this game. Retro really, oof, I was holding the button to cling on. Retro did a really nice job in the art design and developing the aesthetics of the backgrounds. You don't mind not pay attention to it so much because you've got the action going on in the foreground, but the kind of little villages clinging on. Oh, oof. Clinging on by ropes and stuff. Pretty neat, okay. We already got the letter, so we're safe. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice, now we need to jump on this. 
gives a nice little little shimmy shimmy shake. So you know when it's time to do it. And you can bounce right into a, to a bonus. Here you go. Slam into that big hole. That's we're known to do. A couple uh, couple bonuses today. This one, like you can see, we're doing DK only. Oh boy, almost died. I don't really have a good rhyme or reason to the way I approach these. It's just kind of random. Maybe that's for the best. This one looks like I've got it pretty well in hand. Okay. If I could just you could escort me over to the puzzle piece, that'd be excellent. Okay. That is two out of five. Two letters out of four. And that's some good mates. All right. Music is very calming. Kind of a nice departure from just the absolute nightmare that the rocket barrel music has become in my life. I hear it in my darkest days. All right. Well, we gotta keep it together. We got work to do. Let's grab some bananas here. Slip off these vines, gotta use a tight grip. Whoa! Ooh, that's kind of a jerk puzzle piece. That was not very kind of you, game. Oh, you know what? Oh no! Well, we are just doing par for the course here in terms of quality of play. Oops. Yeah, I do think that there is a little bit. I'm not trying to make excuses, trust me. But I do want to say that there is some element of difficulty in between me recording, hitting the buttons, versus them actually being implemented. Oh, come on, get out of here. The latency is a little bit of an issue. Also, me running my mouth, Fency, is a bitter, bitter, bigger issue. Commentating does certainly uh, make you have to split your brain up. And I can't multitask, so. I can barely brush my teeth and pee at the same time. All right, so we're doing all right. There we go. There we go. We're, we're getting it. We're figuring it out, viewers. We just have to focus. We have a uh, walrus here throwing fish. Let me feel about fish, viewers. I'm not much of a seafood boy. Um, I don't mind like a nice fish and chips, maybe. But I wouldn't say I'm going to go out of my way to get it. This looks all kinds of crazy. Okay, this looks like a free barrel to shoot through. All right little uh, barrel maze. Oh, we gotta hurry. Woo, just got him. All right, let's see if we can find where that j j j j is. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. It's entirely possible that I have. Now I got nice fish and chips. Those of you who aren't aware of what that is. Fish and chips is uh deep fried like a white fish. How do I kill you? Okay. I don't know if I can. Didn't he get... Oh, he's got little puffer fish on the end of his thing. Oh, that's adorable. Sir, I'm gonna need you to, to move around. This might be one of those enemies you can't kill. You just gotta jump over him. Or not. That's fine. Oh, here's a banangel. Here we go. Collecting this probably gets a puzzle piece. Let's see. If I could have you return, please. Just one more. Where'd it go? <laughs> I was like, where is it? Oh no. Oh no. That's all the puzzle pieces. Alright. Let's grab this. Oh. Oh. I'm being attacked by weather. Weather's kind of crazy, you know? Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, yeah, okay. Once again, the game is starting to patronize me for not being very good at the game. Look at that little face on the platform that we just grabbed. He's like, I don't want you to boo me up. Step to D Mike. I'm, I'm trying to hang out down here. Or like he ate something really sour. Go ahead and grab a Kong Panion here. Diddy's not who I wanted, but it's fine. And we will bounce. No, we will not. Yeah, that's that's kind of frustrating. I am getting to the point where I feel like I'm hitting the right things, but for some reason the overall responsiveness from my controller slash the game as I'm playing it in recording it, it's not really on the same level. And it's a little unforgiving in this game because you do have to be a little bit more more precise. Whereas like a, like a Mario, you don't have to. You can there's a little more wiggle room. This one though, you gotta just really be on your Jimmy Jam. You just can't make mistakes. Okay, a little Bopopolis reminder. Alright, so we got this boy over here. Ooh, look at these huge snowflakes. Look at these. So, I'm gonna political rally. Okay, here we go. Ah, no! Alright, can we get... Oh, okay. oh, are you kidding me? I didn't know they would do that. Well, you live and you learn. There have been times in the past, where I'm from, that uh, it doesn't normally snow too much. We don't really get too much extreme weather, but you know, there's always gonna be one or two winters every so often. Winter is coming. That you wind up with kind of a nasty kind of a storm system coming through your area. When you're a kid, you know, it's all fun and games. You're like, oh yeah, snow day. You you get up really early in the morning and you listen to the news and you're like, oh sweet, I don't have to go to school today. But then like as you get older you realize that even that wasn't all it was chalked up to be because you still had to um Damn, this is a nasty Ooh. sometimes you'd run on a snow days i didn't know if schools could do that and you have to wind up going to school on a saturday i did that a couple of times as a kid didn't love that i remember actually having to do it enough times that and I must postpone finishing high school. Pretty uncool. Putting the cool in high school. No. All right, so here we go. Cliffside slide one more today. Yeah, not cool. And then as an adult, you gotta scrape your car before you gotta go to work. Boo. What we do have to enjoy though is, I think this might be the last silhouette level in the game. I could be wrong, but take advantage of it here. We'll start off by taking in a hidden alcove, get ourselves a nice poos of beach. And we're gonna move along. This one is like, it's meant to be like an avalanche. I think that's kind of the aesthetic here. That is definitely a distraction, uh, distraction banana. Let me get some murder here. Oof. This one also has kind of a, like a fossilized deal going on. I'm not entirely sure how or if that makes any sense, but it looks cool and I think you gotta kind of move a little bit quick on that section. You don't wanna get buried behind. I think that that's kind of the case for all of this. This guy's up here shooting fish at us. Oh, I never got to finish talking about fish and chips. So fish and chips is a deep fried piece of fish that you have with uh, French fries. Those of you who don't know what French fries are, they are uh, pieces of potato that are fried in the blood of the French. It's delicious. Very good for you, nutritious. Especially if you eat them from McDonald's. All right. Here we go. I don't know if this is a puzzle piece or not. 
Nope, another distraction banana. Oof. This is tricky. Ooh. I think this isn't hurt your view your uh, your eyes there, viewers. Bright white. Alright. We're gonna ooh, is there something up here? Wait. Come back. Yes. Ah, uh, you thought you got me game. Wrong. I don't know if this is time either. I mean it kinda looks like it might be. Look at this dinosaur head. Dinosaurs? Who likes dinosaurs? Dinosaurs are cool. I like eating dinosaurs, nice chicken sandwich. Like, I went to a, uh, this episode commentary is all over the place. I went to an ostrich farm once on a vacation. You might be thinking to yourself, Dean Mike, why would you do that? The answer to that question is, I don't know, but it was awesome. So I have no regrets, no regrets. Greatly enjoyed myself. About to feed them, it was terrifying, they are giant. That's pretty much as close to a dinosaur as you can get. So if you have a chance to go hang out with like an ostrich or an emu or whatever you got going, uh, do it. Just be careful because those things are gnarly and they do not mess around. Alright, so got one more puzzle piece to get. One more letter to get. They're probably pretty close together here. This final puzzle piece. The final letter. Oop! Great! <laughs> Could have finished this level off nice and clean, but no. Anyway, you saw where everything was at least. And we'll get a companion barrel to Ugh. Curious there. I thought I was gonna do this simple and clean, like the way you're making me feel tonight. Okay. Yeah. So definitely do that. Definitely get some fish and chips. Some people like to put a little tartare. On their fish, and their cheese. I'm more of a uh, more of a vinegar kind of guy. Nice malt vinegar. Get that on your fries. <laughs> Can't go wrong, viewers. I'm telling you what. D Mike would have idea. The only downside of that type of food, as much as I enjoy it, I don't really handle greasy food too much. It's sometimes it's made really well. You don't have to worry about it, but. A lot of the time, food like that, like a deep fried piece of fish, is obviously going to have some grease to it. My body is not always on board, but what I am on board with is recovering from the last episode. Oh my goodness. I feel like that's a pretty nice rebound. We did both of those levels on our first try. We are amazing. We have... Some work to do though. Those are gonna be the last two regular regular levels that we can do in the game. But first, a message from our sponsor, Funky Kong. Buy some toys. Yes, we will, Funky, you bet. I'll say the only thing I bought any last time, so I will buy 20. 10 in a piece. Let's see what we get. Okay. Wow, the, the scarcity is real. I feel like I'm trying to buy something on a large internet provider that outprices small businesses. Okay. So far we've gotten one. That is not good. It's two, the rocket barrel toy to just tease me. Haunt me in my dreams with the PTSD. We love it. The boom bird. Okay, so, you know, 2 out of 20, classic. I mean, I feel like our, um... I feel like our success rate has been kind of hovering close to 10% on those. So I don't feel too bad. But next time, we're going to be taking on level 6-7. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye!